Hey guys, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com. And today we're gonna talk about how to properly set up chains. It seems every time that I get on the internet, I see people utilizing chains, but they're using them incorrectly. So I would like to show you today how to set them up. So let's get to it. Today we're gonna utilize the squat for the example. Now, chains can be very simple to set up if you understand why you use them. One, chains are used as an ascending strength curve adaptation. And what that means is that as you come up the lift, you're going to be stronger and stronger and stronger due to leverages. So when you use chains, it accommodates to that, which is called accommodative resistance. Chains were probably one of the first to ever be utilized for it because it was simple to figure out, okay? So if we just talk about it for just a split second, this is a 20 pound chain, and so here it's 20, and as it lowers, it's zero. 20, zero makes pretty good sense, right? So as I'm coming up and getting stronger, it's getting heavier. Now, depending on your strength level will depend on how many chains you use. For speed work, for most people, they're gonna use between one and three chains. One if you're weaker, three if you're stronger. Now, I wanna talk to you guys about how to set it up properly. So as you can see, this chain is actually set up already pretty close to right. So what you wanna do is, let's say I'm standing all the way up with the bar. I want one link on the ground, about one link each side. This is gonna give me maximal weight of the chain. Okay, so that's your first setup. So remember, right now, it's in the rack. I'm not squatting it yet. I have to pick it up. So it's going to be a couple of links on the ground. So that's step one. Step two, your adjustment link. So this little adjuster carabiner right here needs to be in the middle of the chain. So you see this big loop. This is just a quarter inch chain used for an adjustment. So the ones that are set up that you can buy off of, off of websites that don't know, or most people don't know what they're selling, they set up like this where the chain attaches with a carabiner or some kind of a, a latcher up on the bar. This isn't gonna work because you're still gonna have a ton of chain on the ground, both on the bottom and the top. So you need what they call like a lay down chain, which is this one. You could call it whatever you want. I call it like a laydown chain. And this gives you your adjustability for height. This part right here needs to be in the middle of the loop. Now this allows us to adjust it up or down, but you wanna keep this away from the bar and keep this away from the chain. This keeps it almost impossible to unlock and have an issue, okay? Now the next thing that you guys wanna do with the chains is you guys wanna make sure you have it away from anything in the rack. So notice that I have this chain at least a good six inches away from the monolith, and that's gonna apply in a normal squat rack as well. If I push this chain all the way to here, it has the chance to lay down and do things weird on the frame of the machine and what that's gonna do is it's not gonna make it weigh what it's supposed to weigh. So chains need their own space and away from anything that they could accumulate on. And those are some of the big things that you see massive issues with chain work. The other thing you see is people using too much chain to too much weight ratio. Now that's a very complex thing we can't really get into on a YouTube video, but if you'd like to know more, Go to winningstrength.com and get the bands and chains manual, and that will explain everything and how to set it up for your strength level. Talk to you guys soon.